Hey guys, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm at a really cool, good customer's house. Um, we're about to start working, well, Tony's already vacuuming out this Lexus, but that's what we're working on today. I'm filling a bucket full of water to do the wash right there. She's vacuuming with one of our brand new tools, the DeWalt cordless vacuum. Is it working okay or no? Not like the rigid, but. Well, this is too short. You can't get in here. Okay, I think there's an attachment at home for that. This right here is great coverage, but the suction isn't as fabulous. Okay. Oh, yeah. The first go at it, so. I guess we'll report back after she gets the rest of it done, but this is the Lexus. LS460 F Sport. Super nice. But you can see all the scratches in it. Oh my goodness. If you look right where the sun is, as I move the light, you can see all the swirls and scratches. So we're gonna we're gonna get those out of there. Yuck. I mean it's been through car wash after car wash. Can you see it? I kind of parked it over here in the shade or the customer parked it here per me telling him to put it in the shade. So this is where we're at. So it's a great color to not show all of these defects that it has. However, there are so many that you're just gonna see it. So um, it's black with metallic. So good that it has the metallic, bad that it's black, I guess. So it's all dusty. Oh, it needs to be clayed, something awful. So, we're gonna go ahead, she's gonna do a basic interior and then we're gonna jump on the outside. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing washed and decontaminated, get the wheels clean, tires clean, fender wells, all that stuff, uh, cause uh, this guy just purchased this thing. Um, and then we're gonna do one to two steps of correction, depending on how soft the paint is. Generally, Lexus paint is not the hardest in the world, so we shall see. Uh, but that's the uh, first order of business is getting it uh, cleaned up and decont decontaminated and then we'll uh, do some polish testing and go from there. So I'll bring you back when we've got more done. All right guys, I'm working on polishing this thing. Tony's over here doing the wheels, but I'm using my brand new DeWalt DCM 848. This is the uh, five inch dual action polisher. I'm using the five amp hour batteries super cool situation this is cordless obviously um this thing is awesome it has plenty of power to polish out heavy heavy duty defects been doing that on the hood um plenty of power uh i have already uh compounded the hood and both fenders and the batteries actually have an indicator on them so i've got two out of three bars left um, from what I could tell from other YouTube videos and whatever, um, two to three batteries should compound a whole car. Four to five probably will compound and polish the whole car. I bought 15 batteries, so I think we're going to be fine. Uh, so, uh, pads already primed. I just use a little bit of the brand new Smart Cut. I'm pushing with decent pressure and it's cutting and still moving. Yeah, just that easy. No problem at all. This thing works great. If you're looking for a solution where you don't have cords all over the place, I would highly recommend the DeWalt uh, 848. Um, I also purchased the, uh, the cordless rotary polisher. So the rotary will be awesome when we do boats for the cutting and then it'll this will finish amazing. So super excited to get this detailing season started with these new tools. Um, and I'll do official reviews on each one of my DeWalt tools and a few other brands. Uh, as the season progresses, I'll try to get them out before the season gets full-fledged. 
Okay, I have compounded and polished the whole car. It looks amazing. And so now we are actually spraying on some triple trifecta. The brand new triple trifecta top coat. Uh, I have done, I don't know, almost half the car and I've only used this, this little thing here is exactly a half of an ounce. So it's the second time I've officially used this combo right here. You see the compressor there and the sprayer here. So I'm just going to show you how it's done. So we've already done those three panels there, the windows and all that. I highly recommend wearing a respirator if that makes you feel better. Um, it's always best practice. I'm out in a well ventilated area, obviously out in the middle of a yard. So you want to get just pretty even coverage. This sprayer is awesome for atomizing so small. I mean, it's really spraying a very fine mist and you can see it, but uh, that's where we're at. So after you spray it on, you immediately want to knock the bulk off. And so that's just basically knocking the big pile on top off, just like this. You don't need to wipe too much. You just got to wipe off the bulk. Exactly what I said. Then you take our new coating towels, coating leveling towels, these white ones here. And you just watch every square inch that you wipe. You just want to make sure everything is smooth and you don't have any high spots. So just go slow and be very thorough and you shouldn't have any issues at all. If for some reason you do have a high spot that you've left there as you go around the car, when you get back to it, you're probably going to notice that it won't, <laughs> it won't come off if you try to wipe it with a towel. If that's the case, get some either universal all-in-one or smart finish and you can remove that high spot but you're going to need to reapply and make sure everything's level after that so if you wait too long to remove the high spots this stuff will turn into concrete and you won't be able to get it off the car uh, and that's never good so we've done this whole side now we're going to rock and roll around this bad boy and we'll be back whenever we want to show you some more of what we're doing so stay tuned all right everybody here we go lexus LS460, all done. Man, she's glossy. Uh, you can actually see that metallic so much better now. You can also notice that there's not nearly as many scratches and swirl marks as there was. Um, compound, smart cut, smart finish to uh, polish. Universal clean and prep wipe down. Then we sprayed on some Super 7 Pro. And we also finished that with the brand new triple trifecta top coat. It looks amazing. Looks great dark black and amazing uh, on the wheels we got those really nice and clean uh, and then we sprayed both the coatings on top of the, the wheels the wheel faces the we didn't get the wheel barrels they're a little bit too intricate uh, really need to pull them off but we didn't do that so we just did the faces cleaned super 7 triple trifecta then the tires got uh, the 2021 Universal dressing uh, that's diluted. I think one part product to three parts water gives you that gloss. So.
All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate you taking the time to listen to me babble. If you got any questions for me, 813-846-4406 is my cell. If you'd like to book an appointment for detailing, uh, use that same number. Send me a text message. Send me some pictures of what you got or just send, call me. It's that easy. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I've got going on. Uh, a lot of the details that I do, there's more in-depth stuff in the group. There's also other people to talk to besides just me about my products. So if you want to get a, a, a new world of opinions, uh, I mean, it's not like you don't need, it's not like you need more opinions on the internet, but it is what it is. Uh, but check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook, like I mentioned. Uh, and thank you guys so much for listening to me babble. I'm going to get back to work. I got just a, a couple things left to do on this and then we've got one more to do today. But thank you for watching and have a wonderful day.